people who have met a former crush years later, how did it turn out? Story 1. This thread is the reason I'm glad I asked my crush out and found out it was horrible. I had a crush on the daughter of my mom's friend when I was about 10 years old. We would hang out a lot, sometimes all night when our moms were working together at the coat check of the restaurant my dad valeted for. She was definitely my first big crush, but I was a shy, awkward kid. I remembered one of the last times we hung out, I gave her my favorite Lion King trading card because I liked her. After our moms got new jobs, we didn't see each other anymore. The next time I saw her was when we were 18. She was really different, and even though she was still really cute, I didn't feel the same way about her. We talked for a bit and caught up. She showed me pictures of her son. Apparently, she had gotten pregnant when she was 17 and had a beautiful baby boy that her mom looked after so she could finish school. It was a nice experience, especially finding out what she'd been up to all those years. Story 2. Saw her at the 10-year high school reunion. She was a bit heavier than she'd been in high school, but still attractive. She was there with her Ivy League fiancé. These two facts combined to change my mindset from I want to bang my high school crush at our reunion to, oh well, never mind. At one point, we were being recognized for something, and with all eyes on us, she leaned over and said, I remember what a crush you had on me. You wanted me bad. First, I couldn't really react, given the immediate circumstances. Second, I didn't detect any kind of Taco Bell-type invitation in what she'd said. Sorry. In fact, it almost seemed like she was just lording it over me. I mean, she was there with her fiancé, who we'd determined in previous small talk she loved and who was awesome. For some reason, it really ticked me off. I just gave her a blank look, shrugged, and walked away. To this day, I wish I'd had some kind of witty comeback, but that's about my only regret. Haven't seen her since, but I hope she's happy and blah blah blah. Story 3. Had a crush on her all through freshman and sophomore year. She kissed me at the end of sophomore year. I failed to reciprocate. Basically ran away from her. Extreme social anxiety. I switched schools after disappearing for the summer, not because of the kiss, but when school started again, I walked to her school every day for half of the year in hopes of having the balls to make a move. Saw her each day. Failed each day. She obviously got tired of waiting. Ended up with another guy. I gave up. Come the end of senior year, she shows up at my school to see some guy. Saw me, literally jumped into my arms, and forced her phone number on me. Seven years together come in November. I proposed to her around a week ago. Edit, thank you for the gold, you amazing person. Edit, too. For those who have asked, she said yes though the proposal was more of a discussion of the ring I'm trying to have made for her. Social awkwardness for the win. Story 4. Had a crush on the high school quarterback, and his family was royalty in my school. It was a very, very small town that worshipped football, and his family had been players going back four generations or something like that. But in terms of popularity, this guy wasn't just out of my league, he was out of my stratosphere. Fast forward ten years, I'm newly single, and he looks me up in the book. Flirting, plus admitting I had a huge crush on him in school, equals date. Effing <laughs> score for me, yeah? Yeah, no. I get to his place, and he's living in a 300-square-foot box, still driving that 89 pickup from high school. Talking about how he was king poop, still caught up in being worshipped in school, and clearly couldn't grasp why the real world didn't do the same. Can you believe that he actually had to prove himself? The god dang nerve of his boss. Ate dinner, the man did grill one hell of a steak, and noped out. Story 5. Reconnected with the one that got away, we were in the beginning of a relationship in high school, about 17, and she moved unexpectedly. Was devastated, but through chance, mutual friend, reconnected with her. We were 23 or so. First day seeing each other was great for the both of us, and it seemed like we were reconnecting beautifully. Hooked up, whispered sweet nothings, and had some great sleeping together bits. Then reality set in, and we took a road trip together, where she became a crazy witch. She seemed to have a prescription pill addiction, which was likely the source. The takeaway is that we generally remember the things we want to know about people, and I always thought about meeting her again. We did try to reconnect one last time, but she went full psycho. She called or texted me about a year or so ago. We reconnected probably three years ago, and wasn't going to deal with her again, and was glad I ignored slash deleted her number. Story 6. When I was in first year, I had the stupidest little girl crush on this guy in my program, and I had no idea how to express it. 
So I think I thoroughly creeped him out with my staring and pathetic attempts to get him to have coffee with me and such. Anyway, that was eight years ago, and I've really matured as a person since then. I hadn't even thought of him in years when I ran into him. I was actually excited to find out he worked at a store I was planning to go to. I thought, I can finally have a normal conversation with Crush. He'll see I'm not a creepy weirdo anymore. Anyway, when I ran into him, our conversation went like this. Me. Hey, Crush, how's it going? Him. Good, thanks. How are you? Me. Good, thanks. How are you? And then it just spiraled into awkwardness from there. I guess some people just bring it out of me. Story 7. Had a huge crush on her when we worked as waiters together. We both moved away for about six years, then ended up back in the same place we met, randomly. I remember she looked so stunning. We kept in some slight contact over those six years through social networks and emails, but didn't see each other. About two months after, we met again. We started going out. Neither of us planned on it, but we fell in love. Moved in together after about six months, and I got down on one knee in Yosemite about a year after that. We got married just over two years ago, and it was the best day of my life. Thank you to everyone who helped legalize gay marriage. Not that its illegality would have kept us apart. Story 8. We'll likely be buried forever, but what the hell. Had a crush on this girl in grade school, first or second. Playdates, video games, action figures. Life was good. Bought her a present at a 5 and 10 because I thought she'd like it. It was a ring. She was ultra embarrassed and ran off. My parents still have not let me forget that. She changed schools, for other reasons, that next year. Fast forward 14 years, graduated from undergrad, working for a company in my hometown, and working on getting accepted to medical school. Out for drinks one night with friends, and who should come by but her? Beautiful, great taste in music, smiles at my jokes, smitten. Fast forward several more years, gave her a ring again. She did not run away. Happily married several years ago. Story 9. Went out for drinks, still fixated on her, was given a chance, got wasted, and embarrassed myself by spending so much of the night talking about how much my younger self liked her, extolling the virtues like it was years ago. Mentioned how crazy and awesome it was that I was finally getting my chance. It was sad as poop. I didn't realize how bad I effed up until I sobered up, woke up, and immediately knew I would not be given a second opportunity. Saw her reactions and responses from the previous night with a sober eye, realized the massive amount of, I'm going to be polite, but I've made a mistake, that was continuously written across her face. Embarrassing as poop. I'm cringing with you. Story 10. My wife's former crush randomly messaged her on Facebook one day. She effed him on day two. She's now my ex-wife. She's jobless, living with his mom, and I have kids. Edit. It would figure that this is my most upvoted post. My kids are 5 and 3, so they don't understand it much, but I'm hoping for the long game when they realize which parent was really there for them. My son still says hurtful things at times, like, I don't want to live with you anymore, I want to live with mommy, when he's angry. Thank you everyone for making my week. I really needed to smile. It's my son's first week in kindergarten, and dealing with her through the process has been hell. Story 11. Had a crush on this girl all through high school, but we both had significant others during that time period, so nothing ever happened. Fast forward to my senior year of college, I happened to run into her in my college town. I had just broken up with my girlfriend at the time, and my crush from high school was coming on to me so hard. She was still really cool, and even better looking than I remember. The last thing I remember is brushing my teeth in just my boxers at her place. Woke up the next day still in my boxers. She was shirtless. She informed me that she was ready to go, but we did not sleep together. Did not have morning sleep together either. It was a sad, sad day for my pecker. Story 12. I last saw her when I was 12. I was 35 when I did some research on the internet and found her. I sent her a letter saying hi and was curious on how she was doing. Gave my email address and cell phone number. Three weeks went by and I got a message through Facebook from her saying, I'm fine, married with twin boys. Don't contact me again. Six months go by and my parents get a phone call from a guy saying he's her ex-husband and wants to talk to me. I called him from a friend's cell phone. He tells me that she's in a marriage with an extremely controlling husband and I should be careful. I thank him for letting me know and hang up. I've stayed away ever since. Please like and subscribe if you've made it this far. I hope you'll enjoy the rest of this video and have a wonderful day. Story 13. 
I liked her when we were 15, but she wasn't nice to me. I ran into her when we were 23, and she looked so old I didn't recognize her. When she realized I didn't recognize her, she began to cry and ran to the bathroom. Never saw her again. Update. Thanks for all the questions. I had rather sad answers to most of you. Number one, we definitely weren't at Taco Bell, aka the Aphrodite of fast foods. Number two, I'm confident she wasn't a faceless man who was accidentally named by her friend. You should check if she's okay in the bathroom. People slip in there sometimes. Story 14. With a trip to the clinic, we dated very briefly in college. I was absolutely smitten, but it only lasted a few weeks before he decided he wanted to explore his options and many, many other ladies' vahoohoos. Seven years later, we bumped into each other at a bar, both having coincidentally moved to the same city. I had just gone through a bad breakup, and he convinced me to let him tend to both my broken heart and my lady garden with some story about how he had harbored feelings for me all those years. Turns out, all he had harbored was genital warts. Story 15. Crushed hard and competed for a really cute girl in college, but when she moved in with him, I closed the doors on things. Years later, she sought me out on Facebook as, apparently for her, I was the one that got away. It leads to a tawdry, on-again, off-again, mostly sensual tryst in which we determined the things we did best were fighting or effing, which we cycled through quarterly until about a four-year break due to mutual animosity. We made up, had an amazing year, and broke up again in a heart-wrenching explosion that stings to this day. Story 16. It seems that the girls I was chasing in high school, if I see them now, it's like, I don't see what the big deal was. And then the girls I wasn't chasing, but in retrospect should have been, are all insanely gorgeous, funny, smart. If I had a time machine, I'd go back and punch 15-year-old me right in the beanbag. Idiot. I hear ya. I was too cool for the band, so I tried to do sports. I sucked. Meanwhile, all the band girls were being finger-blasted on the bus rides home while I was awkwardly missing layups on the basketball court. Story 17. The girl I had a huge crush on in high school was way out of my league back then. But I ran into her about five years after graduation, and we ended up going out a few times. The intimate stuff was incredible, but she was dull. Nothing there, beyond her being really hot and great in bed, that would make me want to have a serious relationship. So nothing ever came of it. Last I heard, she's been in a happy relationship with a good guy for about four years now, which is really nice to know. Story 18. Tried to pull an ultimatum on me in high school. Do this or we're over. I called her bluff, and that's how our relationship ended. Tenish years later, we're both single, and I visit her on a lark. Turns out she's sleeping with a divorced man and trying to get him to abandon his wife and daughter. Yeah. Also, her apartment was absolutely filthy. I mean, I'm no prize, but I've tried to ruin exactly zero families. Story 19. She was in my class back in kindergarten, in my class again in third grade. Showed her my boxers, and she was now my girlfriend. Then I discovered she cheated on me with my best friend. I saw him showing her his underwear. Needless to say, I've moved on from that event in my life. But if you're out there, Olivia, or Matt, F you. This comment is weird if you imagine OP as the teacher. Story 20. She works at a supermarket near me. I said hi one time and have since avoided using it because I'm not the best with repeated social interaction. Edit. Thanks for all the helpful tips, guys, but I avoid her because I don't want to do the hey, what's up, how you doing, fake an interest in their life interaction. Really, I'm all good socially. Mostly. I feel you. Story 21. We started a small thing when we were around 17 years old, didn't work out because she was spoiled, and I was a pretty heartless butthole. Fast forward a few relationships for us both, 11 years of growth, and she came back into my life a few months ago. We are dating, and life is pretty good now. I couldn't ask for anything more. Sometimes it's the right person, but the wrong time. Story 22. I'm sort of currently going through something like this, Dated two years ago, she went through a rough patch, and I was young and stupid, so she slammed the door on me. We added each other to Facebook and met recently. It was outstanding. We had a really great time and went to her place. I don't know where it goes from now. Gotta be patient and receptive, I guess. Story 23. Had a crush on this really pretty girl that was in my study hall. 
and I always tried to steal glances and check her out and all that, but I would never have dared to ask her out. Anyway, about a year ago, I got a text from a number I didn't know and started talking to them. Surprise, surprise, it was her. She told me she used to write poems about me in the study hall. Story 24. When I went away to boot camp, my high school sweetie dumped me out of boredom and ended up marrying a salesman or some poop. I saw her in a laundromat a couple years later. Her once adorable butt had doubled in size, and she had two kids. Apparently, he knocked her up, and being a good Catholic girl, she looked defeated. Story 25. We're married now. Had a mega crush in high school. Finally contacted him six years later since I knew him back then, and we haven't been apart since. Now we've been together for four years, married for one, and have a baby on the way. Dreams really do come true. I don't care how cheesy that sounds. Story 26. Let's see. I met her when I was 13. We were totally crushed. Fast forward to when we're both 23. She has a kid from a previous marriage, but it didn't bother me. Got married. She cheated. Tried to take me for child support for her daughter. 2 out of 10. Would not be recommended. Story 27. Super. We originally met my freshman year of high school, his senior year. Three years later, we met again. I still had a crush. We became really good friends, then started dating after I graduated. We are now married and have been for over two years. Story 28. He always said, I want to be a cop. I'll never be a frickin' firefighter. Firefighters are wussies. Cops are the real men. He became an army firefighter. But instead of being humbled, he's still a total douche. Firefighters are frickin' homos. Story 29. We've been dating for nearly a year. He was my sister's best friend, and I crushed on him from 2nd grade to 10th. I am high-fiving the heck out of my childhood self now. Most amazing relationship I've ever had. Story 30. Not met, but my high school crush did pop up on Facebook a few years ago. Seeing that her profile pic at the time was her and Sarah Palin, seemingly posted unironically, tells me I dodged a bullet. Story 31. Good. Went to an underground rave, and then my wife and I tag-teamed her. She comes to our holiday gatherings now. Well, that turned out very nicely for you. Story 32. I came out of a house party to pee, and she was between two parked cars outside, blowing two guys. I drunkenly cheered her on, then took a pee on the house. Story 33. Hadn't seen her in 15 years. Ran into each other online, decided to meet up for dinner. Married now for five years and one kid. Dinner at Taco Bell? Story 34. Ran into my high school crush because we were both on the same plane and seated across the aisle from each other. She's a lesbian now. Story 35. Well, she got hotter and I leveled off. Still wouldn't suck my willy and I was even at Taco Bell. Wow, that went meta fast. Story 36. Got Thai food, hung out, caught up. Pretty chill. Would still F her brains out, but I don't think she's into it. Story 37. Found out she was fat and unattractive. Then I realized I was too. One of the most realistic replies. Story 38. She didn't recognize me, or maybe pretended not to, who knows. Either way, felt pretty poopy. Story 39. We talked every day in high school for three years. Twenty years later, she didn't remember me. Story 40. Had drinks, went back to her hotel. Basically, I did not leave it for two days. Netflix marathon? Story 41. I'm downvoting any and all mentions of Taco Bell after, like, the first ten. Story 42. Turns out she's a crystal-healing, vaccination-hating wingnut. Meh, I dodged a bullet. Story 43. Married, been together for eight years now, two kids, went pretty dang well. Story 44. I felt puzzled that I had ever had a crush on him, said hi, and moved on. Story 46. We had an awesome night sleeping together and never talked to each other again. It ruled. Story 47. She got fat and turned into an annoying stoner. Story 48. I won. Please leave your stories in the comments. I'd love to make a video of them in the future. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe.